Hello everyone. I was actually cleaning up today when I realized I hadn't done a video yet. I've done pictures, but I haven't made a video. So let's go ahead and see what I've done. All right, so what you see there are what are known as Clecos. And Clecos are these special fasteners. I can do this without getting in my own way. There's these pliers here. Cleco looks like this. If you look at the end, there's a pin in the center and two tabs outside. When you use the pliers and you push it in, those two little tabs go towards each other. And then when you let go, uh, that center piece goes back in where it is now and spreads those uh, tabs apart. So let me show you. And operation it goes in there. This is going to be hard to do with one hand. There we go. Okay. So there it is. When I push in, watch. See how those two tabs go together? And when I let go, oh, they spread out. So what you do is, this is an eighth inch Clico. You drill a hole that is an eighth an inch big. You take this and you squeeze it. You get that into the hole, which gets going to be a tight fit. I'm gonna have to, there we go, okay? You can see it came out the back side. You push it in, and then when you let go, there we go. It clamps it, and it puts the two pieces together. So what I did was, I went all across here, drilled eighth inch holes all the way around, including in the back here. And what I did is, it allowed me to mount that fender. I also did it on the other side, but like I said, I started cleaning up. I actually took that off before I realized that I hadn't done a video. So here's the back, it's mocked up. I ended up getting rid of a lot of the lip around here. I cut it down. And then I mocked up the top right here, the split window. What I found out is the split window isn't gonna work real well on the convertible. Uh, it just doesn't fit real well and it severely blocks rear visibility. So what I'm thinking is I might have to skip the split window on the hardtop convertible like my car is, and I can only offer the split window on the coupes. All right, the other thing that I did before I used the Clecos, there are these Cleco clamps. They work similar, you have to use the pliers, but it's a spring-loaded clamp. So again, you use the tool in there when you squeeze it it opens up so then I would put it over here I would let go and it would hold the two panels together like that so before I did the Clecos I actually used these clamps all along here I left this flange specifically so I could do this pinched it together drilled all the holes then I took all the clamps off so there's these big clamps here and then the smaller clamps here depending on what you need so anyway I got them off of Amazon just like I get pretty much everything else um, so with all that said the fenders line up really well what I wanted to make sure was when I clamped everything together I thought that I was gonna have to widen this that it just wouldn't fit around the, the C8 because the C8 is a pretty wide car I was shocked to find out that it really does fit so I don't need to do anything so what I'm going to do now is to get this to look right because of the angle of everything, I'm going to have to get rid of, I left just a little bit of an edge here. And what it does is this edge reinforces everything here, but it also raises everything up by, what is that? A half an inch, three eighths of an inch, whatever. That three eighths of an inch actually makes a huge difference in the angle of how the top right there is going to fit. Like I said, doesn't matter on this hard top convertible, but it will matter on the coupe, and I want this body to fit on both of them interchangeably. So what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to get rid of this lip all the way through. What's going to happen though, is especially this piece right here, is going to be really, really flimsy without this extra piece right here. In fact, it's really flimsy right here already, even with this little bit of support. So what that means is, I need to attach everything together. I'm going to take all my mold pieces that are scattered about. I'm going to bolt them together because this was originally designed to be a one piece back end. 
I just needed it separate so I could test fit and check everything. So what I'm going to do is put the molds back together, put the parts back in the molds, and then rejoin them like they originally were meant to do and reinforce them so that they're all more stable now that I know what I've got. One of the disadvantages is that thing's gonna be heavy. The guy that I bought the molds from warned me that <laughs> This is not a one person job. If it's a one piece back end, it takes two people to handle it. So don't know what I'm gonna do when I get to that point because I do everything myself, but I'll cross that bridge when I get there. So what I'll have to do, I'll probably have to cut off all of these flanges completely uh, to join these things together. Or I might try to see if I can leave the flanges there and bolt the molds together anyway and actually have the molds pinch the flanges together. But that might not work because the bolt holes in the molds are match drilled, meaning there's no tolerance, no play in them. So just that extra little bit due to the thickness here may actually cause it to where I cannot do that. So anyway, I won't know until I try to do that. That's my plan. Uh, that's the update for today. And I'll let you know what's going on. The other update is that the fenders that I ordered are going to be here Monday. And this is for the other design, the Art Deco design. That is my personal car preference. Uh, this one's fine. It was this design I'm doing for other people. The one I'm doing for me is the Art Deco. Um, I don't care if anyone else likes it. A lot of people don't like it. That's fine. I don't care. It's my car. This one is more for other people because other people seem to like it a little more. But... Ideally, I'd like to be done with this thing when the Art Deco fenders come so that I can start back on that project. So, I'm going to do a mad rush this weekend and try to get this done. Um, I can get the back end pretty much squared away. I got to do the front end and that's going to be a challenge because, you know, of the fitment issues. So, you may see some mad dashing <laughs> this weekend. The other challenge is, if you look, Sky isn't looking too good. All day long, it's been trying to decide between rain and sun. It actually was sunny and hot earlier. You can see a little blue over there. It got hot when the sun came out. It got nice when the clouds covered and the breeze like it is now, but this rain is predicted to start at about nine o'clock tonight and continue all day tomorrow. So my progress may be severely hampered. What I will have to do probably is I have a, a canvas cover and a like a canvas tent, uh, 10 by 20. It looks like I'm gonna have to finally dig it out and put it up so that I can make progress this weekend. All right, that's my update. Um, I'll go ahead and let you go and I will talk to you uh, next time. Bye.